our island exclusive snapshots are brought to you by Ryan Wills Photography. I'm Jeanne Bonteo. Welcome back to Island Exclusive. I'm at the Adnamara Villa at the Apesil Club in Barbados. From international properties to international superstars, Barbados is one small island doing real big things. And let me tell you, the ladies you're about to meet next know all about that. Let's check in with the Bajan fashion scene. Now, Rochelle, the first time I saw Pink Lemonade was online. I saw these cute dresses pop up on Facebook, and I was like, oh, I love it. Pink lemonade, that's perfect. And then, of course, I did my research and found out you were the designer behind yes. <laughs> Pink Lemonade. Tell us about the style and the concept of the line. Well, the, the style is, as I like to say, is easy going. I, I, it was resort wear, but I like to say easy going. It's just, you put it on, it's effortless, and you know, you look nice. <laughs> yes, that's my thing. So how did you start? Do you sew? How did you actually make your first entry into the fashion industry? Um, I first, I started, I taught myself to sew. I'm not. You know, I would still have a lot to learn, but I, I pretty can ha pretty good can handle myself. Um, that was about 2010, and I started Pink Lemonade with myself and a friend, and um, we debuted at Barbados Fashion Week. And we got a really good response, and from there we actually got invited to Tobago Fashion Week of the following year, 2011, and it just kind of went from there. <laughs> Speaking of Tobago Fashion Week, I caught you at uh, Tobago Fashion Week. <laughs> yes, I you remember. Were phenomenal. Thank you. You repped Barbados. Hardcore. And you guys were screaming for me. <laughs> I was screaming for you the whole way. And yeah. I just felt so proud of you because I've been following your career, I've been wearing your clothing, um, and you know, and telling people about mm -hmm. this great line from Barbados. And to see it mm -hmm. really come to life on the runway was very exciting for mm -hmm. me to watch. Yeah. What was it like for you? It was it was good because it was my third time at Tobago Fashion Week. I, as I, for me, they were one the people that I want to support every year because they're the ones who initially contacting me when I was basically starting out in like a couple months like of, of having pink lemonade. So it was the third time. I, it was always a good experience. I meet a lot of new people. It's always a different experience and I, I really enjoy the island. Tobago is such a beautiful place. If people would kind of give fashion a chance. I, I know in Caribbean mentality certain industries aren't taken as serious but Anya, we could always, I would always go back to Anya, look at her success with um, having win one project runway. So I mean, to me, anything is could be a possible business or a growth for the country once someone believes in it and, and puts effort into it. <laughs> Uh, I am a fan of your work simply by the name alone, Island Bags. Thank you. Such a simple but original concept. I know. Tell me about it. Um, it's just, I had the idea for Island Bags, I'd say mid-2012, and it was really, I actually had a dream. But I dreamt of a handbag um, that was a multifunctional sort of handbag, so it was a clutch bag as well as being an iPad case. That's how it sort of formed, and then I just took the concept and came up with the name and I thought, just keep it simple. Yes. It's Island Bags. It's in Barbados. Uh, the concept was to take images from around Barbados, which I photograph, and print them on handbags. And it just seems simple. Wow, keep it so simple. you take visual arts and your photography I and do. then you translate that into your work. Yep. Now you manufacture these bags here. They 100% Beijing. 100% Beijing. Tell me about that process. So I take a photograph, I print it onto a special paper, and it's printed, I actually physically print that onto fabric and there's a local factory that I work with um, that sews the bags in my designs. Wow. So it's 100% local. Now what I love about it as well is, you know, everyone loves a souvenir. Yeah. Sometimes souvenirs from the Caribbean tend to be a little bit cheesy. on the cheesy side. <laughs> this is a cool, stylish, funky souvenir. And I love that you've said that actually because it's exactly what I wanted. I wanted something that was chic enough for local people, my friends, my family, people that I know to buy this bag. So I wanted it to be something that they would want to purchase, but also something that could work as a souvenir, but yeah. not a cheesy souvenir. Yeah, we don't do cheesy no, in the Caribbean. we don't like cheesy. We do island. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're looking for a little Bayesian flavor or a little island flair in your wardrobe, you know what to do, can't go wrong with the bag or a beautiful purse from Island Bags. Thank it's you. Island Bags on Island Exclusive. That's Tahan, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we got more. It's 100% made in Barbados. We'll be right back. Up next on IX.
Island Exclusive is brought to you by the Langrove Lifestyle Center.